Hey what's up guys welcome to another exciting design tutorial with UXmate Today we are going to learn how to create this cool drag and drop effect in Figma where we will be dragging a file and dropping it on the browser and we will be creating a progress bar to show the processing or you know the uploading of the file and then we will be showing a file preview So let's create this interaction in Figma and let's get started with the tutorial. Well before that make sure you already subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon because if you are not doing that then you are going to miss a lot of exciting design content on our future upload. So let's get started with the video and let's do it in a step by step approach. As always make sure guys you follow the entire video in the given sequence because if you are not following the steps you might not get the exact results so let's get started with it uh, as always i have some basic things here nothing fancy i have a finder preset you know you can uh, get this template from the figma community or uh, you can download it from the web or if required i can share this sample file as well but you can do it with your own as well because nothing fancy is here just you know a couple of frames where uh, we have a finder window you can also grab a screenshot of uh, your file uploader or you know uh, your file preview window if you are using a windows or uh, if you are using mac then you can take a screenshot of finder and paste it in the figma and apart from that i have you know very simple this uh, file component where you know i just have created two variants so i'll just quickly show you what i have here First I have a, a empty variant and then I have a variant where you know there is a slight grey uh, you know this grey little background. So first what we will be doing we will be creating a interaction here you know and that is going to be a while pressing interaction because you know while user is clicking on this uh, file and as long as you know they have clicked on it uh, we want to switch it to the other instance and it could be an instant doesn't matter because uh, very very quick thing it is right and then we have a progress bar which also you know would be animating so what i have did is here you know just to create that effect okay uh, file is taking some time to upload or to process other than just having you know one simple progress bar what i have created i have created three variants of it so one is you know empty progress bar other one is uh, somewhere around 60 or uh, 65 to 70 percent and then the third one is uh, the completely you know uh, 100 percent progress bar so we'll be creating interactions in those uh, progress bars so let's do that as well instead of on click make sure you are doing it after delay and uh, delay should be somewhere around 100 seconds 100 milliseconds not seconds sorry 100 milliseconds and it will be go to the variant 2 and uh, it, it is going to be a smart animate and in this case uh, this timing we can keep you know somewhere around 400 make sure uh, what timings you know or the what durations you are giving here because that is going to be helpful for us to calculate and you know uh, define the state where we'll be completing our progress okay so as of now we have 400 plus 100 uh, which is somewhere around 500 milliseconds uh, half of a second and from here you know uh, from let's say 70% or you know 65% to 100% again we'll be creating uh, after delay interaction and this time we'll wait uh, let's say 300 milliseconds we can adjust this uh, and you can you know change it as as you want because uh, that is going to be your personal choice but yeah uh, make sure what value you are giving here and uh, this is a smaller chunk of progress so what we'll be doing instead of 400 milliseconds we can reduce it to somewhere around 300 so uh, we had already you know 500 milliseconds plus these 600 milliseconds so somewhere around uh, 1100 milliseconds duration we have okay so uh, we are done with our file component we are done with our progress component now i'll show you what else we have so we have very simple frame or you know a simple component which is going to be our drop component and in that uh, what do we have so basically uh, we have this you know uh, first state where we have default state where you know uh, we are just showing a message okay please drop your file here to see the preview and then we'll uh, we'll be having a browse button okay 
after that we have a state where you know file is uh, hovered on this particular rectangle which is you know uh, giving a visual clue to the user okay now my uh, drop area is active and i can drop the file here okay and once user drops the file here then we will be starting with our progress bar so what we have is here like a uh, very simple thing so we have a, a title and then a simple progress bar which we have just you know created here and this progress bar has nothing you know uh, one frame with a rectangle in it uh, this rectangle is just you know uh, animating on the width so very simple and then the last frame has you know uh, we have removed everything and we just have a image of a file preview so you can have you know any image uh, let's say uh, as you know in this example we are uploading an excel file so that's why i have showed you know uh, excel like you know or a sheet a spreadsheet kind of screenshot here if it is a figma file if it is a pdf file or you know any other file uh, based on your you know file extension you can show the particular or you know what content exactly you want to show in the file you can just take you know a screenshot of that and just put it here okay so now uh, we have basic structure of the components also ready we don't have to create any interactions as of now we'll be creating interactions but not in the components okay because we need uh, them in the files uh, or you know the frames so what i have in the frames is you know uh, i have just you know let me just delete them and let's me uh, recreate this for you so the basic file uh, or the basic frame here is you know uh, we have a finder window then we have a file here and then we have our uh, window where you know we are going to upload the file right so uh, in this case you know uh, make sure guys your finder window you know and your drop area are you know two different sections and your file is on top of everyone uh, you know in the layer stack because if it is you know below the uh, other frames then when you drop it or you know when you move it it won't be visible because it will be hidden behind these layers so the important thing here is to you know notice make sure whichever element which is going to be draggable in your case that has to be on top of you know all other layers because that is going to be a functional or you know uh, uh, interactive component on your canvas okay now uh, we have this very simple file component here finder here and the drop content as well now let me just make a couple of copies here okay so as you know uh, you can see we have four different variants and we would be needing four copies of this frame so let me just copy it four times one two three and the fourth okay now when uh, now we have four copies now what we have to do is you know we have to change the variants in uh, all other files or in all other uh, frames so i'll go to the design tab i'll select this and i'll just change the variants this is going to be the uploading no not uploading this is going to be the active area where you know uh, when i have drop uh, when i you know uh, kind of hovering my file over here so that is going to be my active thing now i'll be having a uh, uploading section where you know uploading component where my file is going to be uploaded on the server or you know processed by the server and then last thing would be preview okay now the fun part is here you know we'll be creating the interactions so from this frame uh, what we have to do is you know select your draggable component in this case it is a file okay just go to the prototype and you know create a prototype from the test file to the uh, second frame where you know we have please drop your file here and in this case we are going to you know change this on click to on drag okay because we have to trigger this on drag of the element on drag and we'll going to you know keep the smart animate as it is in this case uh, probably you can change the duration if you want to make you know the animation smoother or uh, that kind of thing but uh, 300 uh, seems good as of now we may change it if required okay and then what we'll be doing from this uh, second frame where you know we'll be dropping our frame uh, i'll be rocking, dropping our file I'll be creating one more interaction here and that is going to be a after delay you know after delay interaction where we'll be waiting for let's say somewhere around uh, 300 milliseconds okay and it will take almost uh, or you know I can say 300 is also uh, going to be a big uh, because 
we just want to you know quickly go to the next frame and uh, initiate the upload process so i can say you know 100 milliseconds or somewhere around it and then again we can have 100 here as well okay now on the last frame or oh sorry on the third frame what we have to do is you know uh, we have to create an interaction from this frame to this frame but you know as i said earlier make sure you know uh, whatever timings you are giving here uh, that you are noting so in our case it was somewhere around 1100 right so what we'll be doing after delay because you know uh, my uh, progress bar animation is completing uh, in 1100 milliseconds what i'll be doing i'll be just you know giving some more uh, delay here which is let's say uh, 1.5 second which is you know 1500 milliseconds and then i'll be showing my file uh, which again can take let's say somewhere around 300 milliseconds it depends this duration can be changed but make sure you know the duration for after delay interaction the delay which you are giving here is greater than at least you know 100 milliseconds uh, you know whatever you are giving to your progress bar okay so in our case we are giving somewhere around 1100 milliseconds to the progress bar and but uh, and that's why you know we'll be giving 1500 milliseconds here okay i'll just uh, go to the second frame now we have created all our interactions but to trigger this interaction what we need to do is we need to move this file and you know somewhere around this uh, container so what i'll be doing i'll be just go to the design mode i'll select my file and i'll move it you know you can use uh, arrow keys or you can you know use your uh, mouse as well so let's keep it you know somewhere here uh, which is just you know dropping the file here and uh, i guess that's all now this should be working fine let's just create okay, you know quick starting point to this flow okay and let's just taste this interaction let me scale it up a little bit okay so now uh, let's taste the first interaction which is while clicking so as long as you know i'm clicking on this while pressing my file is uh, kind of you know going to the active state or selected state okay and as soon as i release the click it is going back to the default state now i'll try to drag it here okay on drag it is uh, going good okay and now you can see this has you know uh, change or you know changing the uh, window from you know please drop here to see preview from uh, uh from you know basically first state to the second state where you know please drop your file so as soon as we reach you know the final uh, position of the file it changes the component to the you know uh, complete you know it changes the state of the component completely up to you know, 100% as soon as i release this you know my progress bar is loaded and uh, you can see you know it is a very quick animation so what we can do is you know we can make it a little bit slower so let's just make it a bit slower and adjust the progress duration so from first to uh, second thing you know uh, let's keep uh, after delay maybe you know somewhere around 300 milliseconds okay and then my duration would be somewhere around 600 milliseconds so uh, total 900 milliseconds in two in uh, two variants and then again i'll wait for somewhere around 600 milliseconds and then i'll complete this animation in 500 milliseconds so somewhere around you know 900 plus uh this is uh like 1100 kind of thing where uh which is somewhere around 2.1 seconds so let's keep you know let's change this duration here from the progress bar to sorry from the progress bar to the last frame which is going to be like instead of 1500 now in this case uh, as we have somewhere around 2.1 seconds we can keep it somewhere around 2.5 seconds okay now let's test this interaction again great it is you know now uh, working as expected and it is uh, you know functioning very great at least i feel and i hope guys you have enjoyed this video make sure you already subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon next to it because if you're not doing that then you're going to miss a lot of exciting design content also make sure guys you uh, check out our website i have put that link in the description as well uh, which is you know www.uxme.co.in where you can find a list of a lot of you know cool 
articles or the blogs on UX design and you know the facts about it, the process about the UX design. Recently, we have published a blog on uh, you know usability testing, you know the importance of usability testing and what should be the basic fundamentals of usability testing and you know what you have to take care while performing the usability testing. Uh, apart from that, we have you know uh, a page where we have listed a couple of books which every UX designer should have in their collection. So I hope you will be enjoying those books as well because those books will give you a very you know a good knowledge if you want to become a very good UX practitioner. So yes, I hope guys uh, you are liking the content and uh, don't forget to you know smash that like button as well because it will give us a uh, you know positive uh, signals on positive vibes from your you and and it will motivate us to cre keep creating you know more beautiful content for you guys also if you have any doubts definitely reach out to me in the comments i'll be definitely helping you if you know uh, more and more requests are there we'll create videos on those requests as well so if you need any help any support just reach out to us in the comment and i'll definitely be helping you so yes, uh, till the next video, keep watching, keep learning, keep designing. Have a good day.